Hey guys, this is Zombiex from EGN Review Central. What I'm going to be doing through the course of this video is giving you a little walkthrough through the R4DS here. And I'm going to show you how to launch games and homebrew into multimedia. Okay guys, now what you see here is the R4DS main menu. Now what I'm going to do first is show you how to launch some games. So first you tap that icon there, then you can see it shows a list of games in folders. This icon here lets you browse a folder, so let's go to games. Now we could just scroll down and you see I got Advanced Wars, and what we'll test is a, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Uh, let's do Brothers in Arms. Well, no. Brain Age. See then, all you need to do is just, is just click that. You just click on the main menu. Now, you can go to Quick Play or Daily Training. Let's do Daily Training. That's me there. I drew a picture of Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Well, that's enough of that. Now it is on to multimedia here. Now I don't have any music on here, but I do got some I got some images and sketches. I could show you how to do some some of my sketches on here. There's Goku from Dragon Ball Z. There's Ichigo. Another Goku, another Goku. So that's the end of that folder, so... Let's go to the next folder. See, well that covers it about for multimedia now. Hey guys, me again. Now I'm going to show you how to launch some homebrew, so click, click, Wrong folder. See, there's homebrew. You probably can't see it though. Then we got Bay Up, DS Aim. Let's see what we got here. Nest DS, let's do that. Oops. See, I got Castlevania on here. I can't move for the mole in the camera, but you get the idea. That's all I really got for homebrew right now. But now it's time to talk about Boot Slap 2. Okay guys, now it's time, time to talk about the Boot Slot 2 option, which lets you boot any Slot 2 card, such as Supercard and M3, into NDS mode. Currently, it doesn't support the boot in the GBA mode unless you have the appropriate boot file, but those are easy to find on their respective forums. So if I just... Oops, multimedia. Well, it doesn't boot slot you anyway if you don't have a card in there or you just have the dust cover at the bottom there. It'll just tell you uh, it'll just tell you to boot in the, in the NDS mode. And it'll just go to two white screens if there's nothing in it. Now, if you guys were wondering about the skin for the R4DS main menu that I had, that's actually one I created. And if you want to find it, the I'll post the link in the 
in the video description there. That's the skin for Resident Evil, as you see. That's all I got right now. But I'll be sure to add more later on. So, till next time, this is ZombieX with EGN Review Central.